this journey is just so hard and now i understand why just so many footballers give up on their dreams because when you believe everything is possible Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. Guys, one day before the big match, tomorrow, we are going to play against a Premier League club. And this is just amazing. I'm so, so looking forward to it. But I still can't forget that it's still a trial. So it's a trial match. It's not a match that I can enjoy. Of course, I can enjoy it. But... I need to perform I need to perform so if I perform probably they're gonna sign me straight so that's why I need to perform and I need to play a good match so all the focus on tomorrow's match but as today the time now is 8 30 and I need to go to work because I need to work so that's why I'm thinking to get in a session late in the evening but i'm gonna work till like nine o'clock so i don't know if it makes sense because we have our match tomorrow and what is the sense of training in the evening and then having a match tomorrow like i mean my body needs to rest as well and because my hamstrings feel very very tight so that's why i really need to take care and i don't want to train just because of to train no because every time when i train i want to train with a purpose i want to train on some things so does it make sense to train like a couple hours before a match i don't think so so i will see how i feel but let's go to work and focus on the important things Guys, sometimes I really think that life is a joke because actually what happened yesterday because today actually is one day after I've been to work and what you've seen before but yesterday evening I wasn't able to talk at all because what happened is yesterday after work because normally today I'm supposed to play against that Premier League club but yesterday evening, the evening before the match today, the manager of the trial team called me and literally we had a chat for like, I think 20 minutes because he's a, like, he's a very nice guy. But he tried to explain to me that before I came, because my trial was just last week, so I trained with them just one time and I've impressed him. So that's why he wanted to see me more. And so that's why he selected me to play in this match today. But what happened is that they were, they were close to sign a striker before I came, before he knew about me. But this striker had some problems. So that's why they were looking for another striker and he found a good striker in me. But what happened literally is that this striker that they wanted to sign before, he got all of a sudden available. And because he knows him from his previous clubs and like he's a good striker, like I was not able to look him really up because I don't really care. But what he says is that literally 
they now have their striker that they wanted and he is now available so that's why for me it is going to be hard to play because now he have his striker because he know him and he doesn't know me obviously because he just can judge on one training session and I did quite well so that's why he said that if I come today probably I won't play and if I have other opportunities I should rather take them instead of waiting for them but the fact now is that I'm not gonna play in this match I was so looking forward to it. like when you have the opportunity to play against a Premier League club I think there's nothing better than can happen to you because who knows what's going to happen if you play a good match if you perform good like this is just a life-changing moment but as you see guys because I want that you know that football is just so hard this football world is just so hard it is just so hard to make it it doesn't matter how old you are but unfortunately in this world it's based on where did you play before how many games do you have how many goals did you score it doesn't really matter proper that before someone gives you an opportunity you need to tell him where did you play before what did you do how many goals did you score how many goals did you concede when you're a defender like it is just so hard as another rejection we keep moving forward because that's the most important thing really sometimes I really feel why am I doing this all why am I doing this all I mean the season is starting in a week and I'm literally in the same situation as last year and this is just unbelievable how can God let me be in this situation after I'm training so hard the situation with Truro I didn't want to make the same mistakes looking for clubs going to trials so that's why I stayed in my club because I don't want to be someone who changed club like underwear because this is not a good reputation for clubs because if they consider me having me in their club they think nah this guy is not going to stay there for long but this is not my choice unfortunately the managers that I had before like or something just happened that made me think I need to leave but this is very hard this journey is just so hard and now I understand why just so many footballers give up on their dreams because this amount those amounts of people who say no to you it's just unbelievable unbelievable and I don't even know what to do now because I'm clubless I'm, I still don't have a club I mean this agent who got me that pro club like opportunity to train he said he's still looking for clubs but there's nothing coming out of it I try to ring managers but their squads are full because obviously it's the it's at the end of their preseason they played all their preseason friendlies and they are starting to prepare for the season so their squad is full but I'm thinking why like why ay 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 but always instead of thinking of the problem we start thinking of solutions I need to find a solution and I just realized it doesn't matter how hard we train because in life this life is not about how much do you do to get there it's about opportunities having opportunities at the right time and just being lucky meeting the right person at the right time it's just like this football world is just so hard but we stand here with so many people of you watching and I stand here for so many people and the only thing that is left is to just keep going and that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do another club said no get on with it and we keep moving that's it like I don't have a choice but this is so 
heart and I don't really know what should be my next step obviously I want to be honest with you guys as well because I get many messages of you that oh come I'm going to get you a trial for a step 10 club or step 11 club or Sunday league team that's oh, just you just need to play game time yes but I'm aware of what I'm able to do so anything below step seven step eight like guys don't even ask me because this is not a joke i try to be a pro footballer and to be a pro footballer you need to play even that it's non-league but on a higher level to prove to yourself because i'm not trying to get attention or famous by something stupid i just want to become a pro footballer and to become a pro footballer you need to take football serious so offers from step 10 clubs to get game experience guys don't even don't even bother that and i don't want to sound arrogant or something but i'm just aware of what i'm able to do i'm not the youngest anymore and i need to deliver i need to deliver but mate really this is just so frustrating like when you are prepared mentally to play against a premier league club and then Bam! One night before this match, so happy, and all of a sudden, from a two minutes, your confidence being there, dropping there. But I need to get myself up. Every time when we fall, we step up, we stand up, and we keep moving forward. That's it. That's what my slogan says. Bonjour, guten Tag, what's up, bro? To all the people who are going to say no later bonjour do you remember when you said no look where i am now so we just keep moving forward that's it but it's hard it's hard when you believe everything is possible team rundao i'll see you tomorrow